Hello, friends. My name is Alex Karekis, and I want to welcome you to the Finding Lost Civilization series. Now, this series is dedicated to visiting ancient sites that time has long forgotten. And today is going to be a fascinating day. I'm trekking along the Pacific coast here in Monterey Bay, and I've encountered an abalone shell midden site. Now, the fascinating thing about this site is I also located the area where they processed their food. I tell you, today is going to be an exciting journey, and I invite you to come trek with me. Friends, we're at the edge of the midden site. In front of us, we have what uh, we call the ice plant here. And when the ice plant covers the sand dune, it, it's like a layer of blanket. It covers it, it preserves it. But uh, you can see what happens when the ice plant is pulled back and the sand dunes are then uh, exposed to nature, uh, to rain, to waves. And so this is what happened over here. Uh, several big waves came through here. Uh, with a high tide and just rip this sand dune apart and expose them in. Well, friends, you know, these abalone shells are hundreds of years old, hundreds upon hundreds. You can see how they've decayed from the midden site. Let me turn it over. This is a small one. Most of them are, you know, five times bigger than this. They're really, really big ones. Now, these were processed for food by the, the natives that lived here at one time, known as the Rumsons. Now, from here, I'm going to go to a site. It's very close by, and I'll show you a place where they processed some of the foods that they, um, I guess, harvested uh, from the Pacific Ocean. friends directly ahead of us right there you can see the ocean at the end of the street you take a left and by the seashore is that uh, midden site that we just saw but the fascinating thing is right over here is a food processing station that the ancients once used i mean this site here as i said is hundreds if not thousands of years old so let's go over there and take a visit let me show you what i mean that the ancients were here and they processed their food near that shell midden site. Well, friends, I've stepped off the roadway and right adjacent to the roadway, there's this field area. And this is where the natives uh, process their food. Uh, look at that, there's that boulder that we're gonna walk to. 
and I'll show you what I mean. So anyways, let's head out there. Let's take a look at the ground. The ground always reveals clues to us. Look at this right over here. This site is also a midden site. Look at that over here. Not too much to see, but that's the remnants of a shell right over here. And uh, okay, look at this over here. Is this a larger piece? Okay, there you have it. Look at this. This is abalone and uh, yeah, they come to the surface after the rains. You see this, these little mounds right over here? The gophers uh, dig up the soil, you know, and they reveal what's beneath the top layer. So this site, you can tell, is a shellman site also with the remnants of shells right over here. So as we're walking to the boulder, I'm going to walk around here uh, to this side right over here. And uh, I can see right over here on the top, I can see a mortar right over there. And there's another one right over there. So I'm going to walk around and I'm going to stand right in front of the food processing site right over here. Look at this. <laughs> this is fantastic. This is like a kitchen workstation here. So you have a mortar here, you have a mortar here. And look at this, there appears to be a channel right here, cut right here, and then coming down over here. So here's where the native would stand, uh, prepare his food, tenderize it. Uh, look at this here. In between the two mortars, you've got a, a flat table area. If you wanted to wash down whatever you were processing, you could use this here channel to uh, uh, let the remnants come down over here. Uh, there's another boulder right next to this, what I'll call, tabletop. And look at this, there's a, another mortar right over there. So let's go around the boulder and take a, another view, another perspective. I hope you've enjoyed this journey that we've taken together here along the Monterey Peninsula coastal seashore. And so I invite you to continue trekking with me as we visit ancient sites that time has long forgotten. Mm -hmm.